Hi everybody, I'm Jessie Inchospe, I'm a biochemist, I'm the author of The Glucose Goddess Method. It's my new book, it's amazing, you should get it. And this is what I eat in a day. I'm ready. So I always, 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 always start my day with a savory breakfast. That means a breakfast that's built around protein and doesn't contain anything sweet in it, except some whole fruit for taste. Now, this is fundamental to keeping your blood sugar levels steady throughout the day, to unlock amazing energy, to not have any cravings, to help you think properly. So my go-to savory breakfast is my two egg feta and tomato omelet. It's in my book, it's my favorite recipe. Uh, but this morning I had the happy halloumi with spinach, which was really delicious. Um, then in the morning, because I have the savory breakfast and my glucose levels are steady, I don't have any cravings, I'm not hungry, so you know, roll 12 rolls around, 1 p.m. rolls around, and then I'm ready to eat. Um, and that's actually a really good thing to remind yourself. If your breakfast does not keep you full for four hours, you're probably not doing it right. So don't worry, I have a lot of recipes to help you do it right. But come lunchtime, I'll probably have like a nice big like chicken rice salad, but I always start my meals with vegetables. So in this case, I would have like some arugula salad, maybe just a little bit, because when you start your meals with vegetables, the fiber in those veggies, when you eat the veggies at the beginning of the meal, will coat the upper part of your intestine and help reduce your absorption of any glucose molecules coming through afterwards. So that's really, really important. Um, some of my favorite vegetable starter recipes include featuring my favorite vegetable, uh, backwards broccoli. That's one of my favorite recipes in the book. It takes three minutes to make and it's amazing. But basically any vegetable you like will work because veggies contain that amazing fiber, superwoman, superpower substance. Then in the afternoon, I usually kind of feel like eating something sweet, but you may be thinking, okay, well, something sweet will definitely cause a blood sugar spike, right? So how do you avoid that? Well, introducing an amazing, magical ingredient, vinegar. Okay, so here's what the science has found. If you have one tablespoon of vinegar before eating something high in glucose, you can reduce the spike of that food by up to 30%. So in my case, I probably want to eat a cookie, but by having a vinegar drink beforehand, I'm going to reduce the impact of that cookie on my physical and on my mental health. So this is one of my favorite tricks. And in my book, it's all about vinegar in week two. And I have lots of really easy recipes to make vinegar mocktails, vinegar teas, vinegar dressings, lots of easy ways to get it done. And then in the evening, I will also have a veggie starter. So maybe because it's the evening, I have like five minutes to cook something. I might make like some nice leeks or some baked fennel, some crispy kale leaves in the oven. And then during dinner, I love having like some nice big dish of pasta. But again, because I have it after the veggie starter, I'm reducing the impact of that on my body and I'm helping my health. And finally, after dinner, I try to get 10 minutes of movement in. Now this can be just walking for 10 minutes, doing the dishes, or even sitting at my couch watching a TV show and just doing some calf raises. Now if you do, oh, it's hard to do on the chair, but basically you get what I'm saying, like you do some calf raises while sitting at your couch and the muscles in your calves as they contract will absorb some of the glucose molecules and reduce the spike of that meal. So all in all, I'm here to share with you really easy tips backed by amazing scientific studies done across the world that will fit in effortlessly into your days like gentle giants or good fairies and will help you heal and feel so much better. Cravings, hunger, brain fog, energy, hormonal issues, menopause symptoms, and will help put in remission things like type 2 diabetes. So I hope you will join me in learning these amazing hacks that will transform your life in my new book, The Glucose Goddess Method. Thank you.